Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how we can achieve efficiencies by utilizing the match function with pick function and achieve a certain type of output which we generally require in our reports or in dashboard. So scenario is something like uh, suppose that you have let's say ex this expenditure table by each of this month where you have the exp uh, exact or actual expenditure and maybe the hypothetical requirement is that uh, based on the month it is if it is jan feb or march we need to give or we need to have a certain type of uh, custom calculation so for example if it is January, then let's say we need to divide the expenditure by certain number or or multiply it by a certain percentage. If it is in Feb, then a different calculation. If it is March, then a different calculation. So the one way of doing that thing is writing multiple if statement that uh, where you are saying that if it is Jan, then do this. If it is Feb, then do this. If it is March, then a different calculation. But as you know, if is a resource intensive function and if you use such a multiple if statements, your dashboard or your report becomes very bulky and it's not a very good user experience that uh, you, know, you may want to give it to your end user. Let's say if it is like uh, 15 different conditions and for example, it's not even month. Suppose if it is a different custom categories based on your business, let's say different business locations based on different business locations, you need to calculate the different percentages for let's say commissions or for revenues or any other you know calculation based on that dimension value. So the idea is if you have lots of dimension values and for each of the dimension value you need to follow a certain type of calculation, then how you can efficiently achieve it uh, within the click view. So that's the basic objective of this um, this uh, video, and I would show you. I'll show you that uh, how you can achieve that with the help of uh, the combination of pick and match function. So if you re if you recall from my last video uh, where I showed you match, mix match, and wild match function, and told you about their output and how you can configure it. In this video, I am extending this by uh, nesting the match function within the pick function. So if I tell you about pick function, it is nothing where uh, kind of a multiple if statement if you would, if you will. And uh, what it takes is uh, input as a numeric input. And uh, based on the number of expression that you are writing, it will give you the output. So before further talking, let me put that into perspective and show it to you where you can easily understand. So if I show you the match function, that's how the match function looks like. And if I show you the output of match function again here, then I will just copy this, go to expression, add expression and enter the match, click OK. And I hit apply to show you the output. So the second expression is giving the output for Jan it is giving one because it is the first value here. So this is the month field and because Jan is the first value that's why it is giving one value for Feb it is giving two value because we have specified at a second location. March is the third value because it's been specified at a third location. So this is just an example of month but you can specify any other business dimension as a first value within the match and their custom category or the custom value on these different uh, you know as a parameters and based on what you what category you are defining first will give the output as number one by match function and we will utilize this output one two or three within the pick function to create an expression out of it so let's quickly cut it and I will just drag it back here and go into the definition. So I will write pick and first thing is it is asking the position. So position is nothing but the one, two, three, four, five. On which position, based on the position, what expression it needs to calculate. 
So the position will come from the match function because it gives the output 1, 2 or 3. So let's paste the match function over here. So if it is Jan, it will give the output 1 or the position 1. If it is Feb, it will give you the out, uh, position 2. If it is March, it will go give you the output as 3. And then once, it, once we are done, let's say here, put a comma and write the expression. So maybe we can write the expression uh, sum of cost price. That's the expression that for expenditure cost price. Let's say we want to divide it by 1000 just for some sake of simplicity so that you can understand how it is doing or how it is picking up each of the expression. And if it is position 2, so this is the expression for position 1. For position 2, let's say we want to divide it by 100. And let's say for position 3, we want to divide it by 10. So this is a very simple example just to show you um, how the pick function takes the output or the position value from the match function and execute these different expressions based on the position of these custom, these values of the of your uh, dimension. So here in this case month dimension. After this I am pretty much okay because Jan, Feb and March are the three things that I am showing. I will hit OK and if I hit apply then you can clearly see that for Jan this value uh, 1.6 million is divided by 1000 and that's the output. When it is fab, it is div divided by 100. That's why it is coming 1960. If it is March, then it is divided by 10 and the output is 385,000. So that's, that's how you can very efficiently achieve the nested if statement by utilizing the pick and match function for all the different categories that you for all the different categories for which you want to have a different cal calculations altogether and that will not be a resource in intensive and your dashboard and report will work comparatively faster than a normal if statement so that's pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic